hello guys welcome to today's video so in today's video i go to create a new tikinta tree view here right here you see this tikinta tree view we have our id name score position you can scroll to the right side it continues you have time year then the month as well you can scroll right back then it goes all the way down you can see both horizontal and vertical scroll bars are all working and right here we have we have this little plus sign this is a parent that when you click on it it shows a child element and I ask this Naomi with an ID of 0026 and uh, Gideon's with an ID of 0001 so we click minus Naomi is gone click plus it shows now me nested under Gideon's right here so I'm going to do all this from scratch and if you are if you are new to this channel don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for you to be able to see new cool videos we upload to this channel so all right I'm inside my newly created Python file and let's import the things we need for this video so I'm, I'm going to import thinking time so from taking time import everything using the asterisk so we also need to import ttk as well so from taking time import ttk it's another widget that gives us access to the tree view so right here i want to assign my window so root it's called to TK. I'm signing my window to root. I want to give a window a size so root dot geometry. I'm gonna give it a size of 700 by 500 or 520. All right. So now let's launch our window so root the main loop now i come right here i want to call my so i want to name my tree view now let's use my tree this one basically good so this assigning to so ttk dot tree view now to put it on our root on our window which is the root right here so my tree dot place how to place it right on the window so i'm going to use relative x or 0 0.01 so right here i'm i'm using relative x okay so i think it should be uh, my tree dot place not insert okay so i'm using relative x and relative y and go you can you can use pack you can use x you can use pad x or whatever is comfortable for you but i prefer using relative x because it's more precise and give me more control of placing my elements on the window so here relative y which is 0.128 as well then our width and our width is uh, six four six so we need to bring this equal to sign here then we have our height as well so we we'll give it a height of 410 okay so let's launch it and see so as you can see we have our 
three view nicely placed so the next thing is then we are going to add some column headers here right here but first let's start by adding the columns right here so I want to come down here and let's say my tree dot configure I want to open bracket right and type my columns no tree is made of columns like that's column right here we have our columns right here so that's what I'm referring to so columns you open equal to you open another equal to sign so I wanna call our first column header name then I want to call our second column header score I am so our third column header to call it position so position and um our fourth column position I think we miss some I here right we are good now and our next next column header I think is time as well and our next we have the year then finally we have the month I think we miss some comma here I am I am So another one here hmm so we are we are good to go now so the next thing we want to do is let's launch first and see what we got so my tree view now we have space allocated for the columns right here as you can see the column is being divided here so we are going to put column headers into these spaces right here so inside our so the next thing we want to create is we want to create the column headers as I said so you come down here and let's say this is headings headings so my tree which is the name of our tree view dot heading heading and we bring this has zero the number zero so normally with this hash zero I think it gets a lot of people confused sometimes I think with a tree view it just it's more like a spreadsheet there's always this kind of ghost column that is always there let me let me open spreadsheet and try and spread this thing very well because it's very confusing most at times so here's my spreadsheet i'll pin my spreadsheet right here right here you can see we have our column a column b column c column d we have our row one row two row two out of the row three it goes on and on but right here somebody asks like was how was the first column is pressed and everybody knows we have column a as a starting but if you take closer look at here there is this column right here there is a particular column here before this column a comes before this column b comes and some way somehow this column is like a ghost column here like it's more like it doesn't have reference it doesn't have a name it's more like somebody come to you and say if i want to count numbers we have one and i'll be more like okay one actually doesn't exist as one one actually exists as zero one but the zero means nothing so zero is not considered so i, I see this more like that 
here as well and i think this column is supposed to appear anyway because if this column is not here to me this a is going to shift a whole way here and if you want to refer yourself a1 here is going to be like very hard so it's it makes sense for you to shift this a to be in line with this one here for design purpose so that you'll be able to refer your cells well which hence maybe left this small little column right there so same thing as in a uh, tree view there is this little goes this column that is being left handed is always left right there goes that does nothing there so whenever you see this zero here i think don't get confused just treat it as one of those ghost column that is always left in taking that review right there so we want to give our column a text so let's call it id now in this video remember we have id here so somebody will be like now we have our columns inside that my column headers i'm having name score position time year and month these are my column places and whenever you launch our our tree view here you can see id before the name you can see score position and then we have our time and month but inside my columns i'm not having id so where from the id so this this goes back to the ghost column i keep talking about that in, in ticket that we are always having one ghost column that is there so even though here somebody may see these columns as one two three four five six somebody may see these columns as six columns we're having six column right here but normally there are no six columns in together if you have six columns it doesn't mean six columns existed in things that it means there is seven but one is like ghost one is like they're missing so you won't see that one so when you see six it means there's seven so let's say me i don't want to deal with some kind of ghost thing in my my in my app so i think we are making use of that ghost column instead of leaving it handed instead of leaving the ghost column there alone we decided to you make use of that ghost column so the ghost column is the id we are seeing right here the 001 002 004 so we have made use of the ghost column by giving it the name a reference which appears here so under normal circumstances in our tree view there is no id but in the tree view we created there is id because we it's we use the ghost we made use of the ghost column and use it for the id so i hope this doesn't get more confusing right here when you see the id here and you don't see it inside our column headers so let's so like i said this hash stands for the ghost column that is always there i call it ghost column because there is the column there but you won't see it that's why i call it ghost column column is right there but you won't see it so we are giving the ghost column a name called id so that's why we have the id right there then we the next thing we need the anchor we have anchor called west so what this anchor west here I see it, I compare it more like place, like placing items in cell. Once again, using the spreadsheet. In cell, we can place data in cells. For example, you want data to be at the center, or you want it to be at the left, or maybe you want to be at inside your cell. Maybe you want your data to shift to the left side, you want your data to shift to the right side, or you want your data to lie in the center of the cells. So I want my ID to be at the west side so that's the meaning of this west it's more like you want it to shift to let's let's get that thing down 
because i'm going to have my little plus sign here so i want my id to shift to where's that when i mean where's it's more like the right side of the cell inside the cell here so that's the meaning of the west anchor west there then i want to come back here want to create another header so column heading they open the bracket then this time around this we are going to name this column header name because this is the name of our column header here so we are going to use the name here so we are referring the name here we are putting text inside we are, we are giving in text inside with the name as usual so we also give this anchor also give this anchor of west then the, the next thing we have here is my tree so to avoid wasting time let's just copy this because we are basically going to be doing the same thing all over again so copy and paste here so this is going to be our score right here to what we have our score i think same anchor then we come to the next one is the position This right here is going to be our position. Right here. Then we come to the next one. We have the time. Right here. Right here to have our time. And the next thing is our year. So we have our year. I am. We also have our year right here. And finally, our month. Our month. So as you can see right here we have one two three four five six normally there are six columns here but this is seven with the ghost column so we name this column we give it name we are referring it to name because we have name we are referring it to score because you have score but right here we are not referring this to id because when you put id here there's nothing inside our column which is id our id doesn't exist inside our columns we name there so has zero means nothing there's nothing there it means nothing zero means nothing has zero means there's nothing there that's why referring it to the hash zero then then it inside the ghost column here we give it the name of the id right there but here we have to give it name because there's name there score because there's score there and here we give the hash zero because there's no zero there so how this doesn't sound confusing to you seeing that there so the next thing we want to create is our tree so first let's launch it and see what we got so as you can see we have our id we have our score we have position but this because this is long we need a, a scroll bar here so that we can scroll to that side to see the rest so in the near future when added the if we add a scroll bar hopefully you see the rest as you can see we have the names of our column headers right here right now so now let's give them a size yeah so let's come down here so maybe let's say edit columns so let's say edit I think edit is wrong edit columns all right so our first column which are called the ghost column 
so my tree dot column so right here we have a hash zero then we are going to give it a stretch the stretch is wrong should be still wrong want the stretch to be no the another thing we need is the mean width you need a mean width of let's say 25 then we need the width width of 125 then I think let's copy this as well to make it faster enough because it's basically going to be the same thing just some few changes so right here we have stretch here as no as well I think our mean width will be zero The, the width is going to be the 125 yeah so but you realize that here we have the mean, mean width of 25 we have the here mean width of 0 why do we place here 25 because it's the ghost column we need to shift it later to the other side so we have to give it a mean width of 25 yeah then, then the next thing we have we have the my tree okay let's paste because we've copied that right we name this one so this is more like the we are positioning them so so this is going to be the three this is the mean width of zero zero so this will be more like 200 200 160 let's make this okay let's make this 160 as well then we have our fourth Stretch in the wash wall. This is also zero. I mean, we've also zero. This right here is also 160. Okay. Then we have a five. Then finally, the six. So five. I think it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. It's six. Six items. So We have our other one here. Okay, this is also mean width of zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have our six. One sixty. Okay. So the next thing is you want to add let's launch it and see what we got. So nicely placed. As you can see the the because it doesn't go it doesn't extend to that place because you don't have any scroll bar to scroll it to that place. So it won't extend there onto add the scroll bar. So what we just did with those hash one and things basically we are just giving it the size here yeah. as you can see that's what we are just doing so default when we launch it default it has a mean width this has mean width of 125 and a size of a width of let's say yeah mean it has a mean width of this is mean width of 25 
and a width of 125 this has a width of 160 and mean width of 0 so you, you won't see it clearly until we add the text anyway so don't get confused with the the mean width and all those things you are seeing here so let's add a screw a horizontal and vertical screw bar so that it makes it easier to screw to the other side so right here let's come to the top here and name our first screw bar so we want to call screw bar x right here i want to come to the top because i will reference it at the down there so you need to be assigned first before i can do the reference or it's, it's not going to recognize the reference so let's call so let's say this is the scroll by x i want to name our scroll by x then we call it scroll bar then we put it on uh, on our window because our window is root we give a little orientation so the orientation is more like how you want to it to lie so you want it to lie horizontally so that's what that's the orientation which is the orient so we want our we want our scroll bar we are have we, are, we want this scroll bar to lie vertically horizontally sorry that's what the orient means there then let's name our second one as maybe scroll bar y so this is also scroll bar we put it on our window so root because the name of our window is root then the orient because this we want this to also lie vertically so this is going to be vertical all right Right now, nothing is going to happen because we've not placed it on the window. We've not given it any command and stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's come right down here and place it. Right. So scroll bar Y or scroll bar X dot place. And um. I also want to use so I'm, I'm one more time I want to use the relative x so you can use whatever is comfortable for you I'm using the relative x because it's more precise and comfortable for me you can use the pad your pad x your pad y your x and all those stuff if you are able to control it that's okay so relative x this is 0 0.002 and my relative y so this should be equal to let's say 0 0.922 then we have the width to stretch it a little bit so that's what the width which is 651 and we'll give it a height as well give it a height as well let's say 22 Then we have a scroll bar, scroll bar y dot place as well. So we give it relative x as well to be let's say 0 0.934, 0 0.934. Sorry, it's supposed to be 9 here. Then we have our relative y to be as 0 0.128 0 0.128 right here then we have our width of our width of 22 then our height as well height of 432 
as well so let's launch it see what we got so as you can see we have our scroll bar right here it's our vertical and horizontal scroll bars we have here but as you can see this is not working because immediately you scroll this immediately you scroll this the head the headers must scroll along with it why is it not working because we've not given a command to this it's more like a button when you add a button you want it to work these are more like data we place inside the tree view so we need to give it a command so that whenever you move it it goes along with the data so that's what we are going to do right next here yeah. so let's come down here let's give it a configuration so first let's just give the command first so i have my tree my tree dot configure configure we have y let's name this y because for it to make it simple to recognize because it's the y scroll command so let's say we call our y scroll command so we say y scroll command scroll but did i spell this command right yeah y scroll command I scroll command yeah I think it's spelled, spelled right then we have our scroll scroll by y dot set then the next one is the x scroll command I think I spelled the scroll wrong scroll command is equal to then we have scroll So scroll by x okay dot set all right so now we give it a command name so you can configure it right here so we have a scroll bar y let me reduce these spaces here so scroll bar x dot dot configure then we have a command so we are giving it a command and then so we want the command we want my tree dot x view because this is the x so this should take x view Then the next is our scroll bar y. So scroll bar y also dot configure. Also, we are also giving it a command. So this is my tree, which is the name of our tree view. Because this is y, so y view. All right. All right, let's launch it and see what we got. I think we have we've left one more thing: the select mode, which allows to which select which of the data you want to move. So my tree dot configure. So we have our select mode. Want it to be extended. Do I spell the extended correct? Because I don't want okay, extend no right boom, okay, extended. Alright, let's launch it then. So you can see our scroll bar is working now. But this is not working because we need to place 
data here when you need to add some data here and when the data reaches passes the minimum size you give to it then this appears so that we'll be able to scroll down so let's try and add some data to our tree view but for now this is working because you can see our time here and the rest you can scroll by yeah see your rest here so let's come all the way down and add the data so we are going to use the insert i will insert the as the name sound like self-explanatory to insert our data right there so let's add our data so my let's call my tree dot insert then we have the parent I want to put the parent to nothing so why parent because now we have our data let's launch it I think we are not done with this so it's giving us error let's finish it so that you stop giving us error so the next thing we need is the index so when i finish it i'll come back to the parent i'll explain the parent for you so the index is the end index is like the position how do you want to put put you want to put it end so we have our one data we want to put the next one at the end of the other one and then end of the other one so we want it to come next line next line next line until it go so that's more like the index then we have the test text here so our first id 001 and i will explain this test thing this testing i'll explain this testing later as well so this idd which is we stand for id basically just like the location we have the values the values so now our values is we are going to our first thing is the name the second is the score the third is the position so we are going to place the values in it consecutively on so on a, in our name position so in our values we open it in our name position we have Gideon the first one we have let's say Gideon's then come back here we have our next is the score so in the score position let's say Gideon have a score of 90 so let's okay come on here so we bring another quote so we have score of 99 99 then the next is the position so i say give you have a position of i say first first then the next is um the the time i guess so I say to time so we have a and we have year which is the 2022 okay i think this is supposed to be gender because power doesn't matter anyway let's see it's just any random test i'm adding to fill inside it doesn't matter if i change this it means i have to start change everything all over so let's maintain it here so anytime you see that time just assume the mail is your time it doesn't matter yeah 
So we have our May so May which is the year for the year please you are not I think this is for the month this is for the month this is for the okay the year we need the year as well so our year is 2022 2022 okay so let's launch it okay we have something is wrong here okay i we have the i think this should be i i d i i d that's i i this this simply means i d but normally in Tikita, I just I I D just have to stick with it like that. I don't know why it's done so. I think maybe just to differentiate because we've already used ID already. So maybe just to differentiate. Well, just to maintain the I I D like that. Alright, so as you can see, our data is added nicely. Yeah. Okay. I think there's something wrong here. Yeah. We didn't separate the year and the month with a comma, so Tinta is treating it as one data. All right, so we have month, we have our May, mail. Like I said, this time thing, forget it anyway. So we have a 001 Gideon's 99 score. So let's add more okay like i said i want to explain the parents here so what this parent is is here that remember in the in our order we are having a parent let's launch it again and see okay then the first one so th this is the parent right here when you click on it we have a chart so all what you are trying to do that we are trying to select I try to choose one for us to be able to add a child here. We need to select one. We need to select one of these data here and use it as the parent. So it's more like reference. We need to uh, we need to identify that these are parents for us to be able to add a child. So we are identifying in the we are using the ID. We are going to use the ID here, right? Here. We can use any of them. We are using the ID. So if you are using the ID, you want to name this as the parent. Then we can add the child under it. So that's basically it's more like the reference. We are referring this as the parent. So if this is the parent, then which will be the child, then this will be the child. So that's what the parent that means. So, when I want to leave our parent empty here for the meantime, and let's show you the space. Okay, I don't want to add a whole lot of data in these things due to take time. So, let me quickly go to our, the other code here and copy this data to save time. So let me get because as you can see this is a whole lot. It's going to be difficult. It's going to waste time having to type all this. So let's come down here and paste them. So this is different thing. There's nothing different. This my tree dot insert. We have the parent, we have the index, and the ID. Our first ID is 0001, so our second ID is 0002, our third ID is 003. You can add anything here, there's no compulsory, but with this one, it must follow with the ID, it must follow in that order. If the first one is zero, the next one must be one, two, three, four in that order. It's very necessary. 
but with this it's just our own figures doesn't matter anything you can add your own figures there doesn't matter we have our iid which is one because the first one was zero we have our values same way we have our simon 98 second mil 22 blah, 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 all goes on so oh let's launch it so we have our data placed in it nicely so as you can see now the this scuba is working now because right now there's enough data in it to go to scroll down so this is more like so both are vertical and horizontal scroll bar working nicely so now the next thing is we want to talk about that chart we want to add that plus sign here such a way that when you click on it to show us another data nested under one data here so that's what we are going to do next so we are going to use the the uh, i could use the move sign so let's close this and come right here let's come to the down so let's say add Child. and once again we are going to use there so let's copy one of these because we are going to add the same data under it just do some editing so what, what this means is it's more like adding this but under one of these so now remember I talk about the parent asking the parent is more like selecting which of the data you want to use as parent for you to be able to identify your child so here we leave it to nothing because we just want to pick the whole thing but here because you want to place you want to nest this child under parent one one where's the one this is our one here this is the first parent because we've already selected the id as the parent this parent has to identify the id as the parent yeah we just identify this whole the, the id as a parent so where's that is id we have the one there so parent is one so the confusing thing is, is going to be more like okay if you are using the id side you have to be zero not one you see that clearly one is going to be the next parent simon so gideon is having an id of zero yeah so it means you are nesting this under the gideons with id zero so that's what that means here yeah? So let's change this to 26. Maybe let's call this person Naomi. Naomi. So let's give it, let's say position is 19. No, okay, this is the score. So 19. So the position should be 25. That means a female. All right. Let's change this to make it look more. Okay, let's say this is 2024. So we can get some differentiation between our data. So let's say this is so this is June. I know that they, they, they don't think about the making sense of the data. This data doesn't make sense in any way. Just raw data we are just filling to get our tree view. So now the next thing is we want to okay, let's launch it. 
24 ID exist. Okay. Okay, the ID. Remember, I talk about this ID thing that is very necessary. With the ID, you can maintain anything, but with this, it's very necessary because there's already 24 years. So the next one is supposed to be 25. You can repeat same ID in it. So we, we have our plus little plus sign here. So now we have a now me nested under first ID. That means female year 2024. So as soon as you click the plus sign, now a minus sign appeared here. If you click on the minus sign, it's gone. As you can see, we have 2020, we have Fimbo. So the next person is we have Gideon's, we have Simon, Cynthia. So far as you click this, we have Naomi nested under Simon, under Gideon's. So Naomi is under Gideon's 25th score. And we can change it. We can change the position as well. So let's play with this more. So what we can do is now we remember this parent. Let's say we want Nami to be under parent, maybe the third parent, or which who is called Luke. The third parent data is Luke. So what is the idea of Luke? So Luke is three. Yes, Luke is three. So we put three here. So as you can see, we we have the data nested under look. So we place it under look. We can even add more. Let's even copy this. can even add more so let's say we want this nested under two parent number two maybe this maybe parent number eight okay so let's say this is 26 27 so let's say this person is called and then the let's say mark okay we already have mark in the list so let's say john i don't think we have john in the list yeah no john doesn't matter we can still maintain the name just for verification anyway so let's say this is 27 this 28 so okay so now we've had we have in three nested details here so here we have john and uh, cynthia we have naomi and the look here also having naomi here and the look so that's what the parent child thing is all about yeah nicely working so we are just done with our tree view and another thing we can do with this tree view is we can also edit the head the, the header as much as we want so let's say we want our we want to have some differentiation between the header and the and the header items so maybe we want to make like the header board or something so with that we need to use so let's come right here we need to use the star to star so star which is the ttk dot star So star dot configure. So 
we are, we are targeting the tree view heading so we use we type tree view heading if you want to type the tree view items i run around to target the tree view heading so tree view dot heading if you want to start the tree view column there's going to be tree view dot column anyway whichever way you want to do but when i want to style our heading so we go with the tree view dot heading maybe we want a font let's change the font to maybe let's use one of the default fonts in, in pycharm so i'm using Gothic UI. All right. And we have our next, which is the 10, which is the font size to 10. And let's make it bold. So let's launch it and see. As you can see, this has become bold. The font size has changed. Let's make the let's make it a little bigger so 11 font size a little bigger so we have a we've made it so as you can see the font size of month all has changed so this is another way of styling the the tree view header So you can do more, you can change the color, whatever of it. So this is it for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. So in the next in the future, right now we are we are not going to in the next future I want to do a video where we can add we can use the spreadsheet as a spreadsheet, um how do you call it database. We are going to link our trivia to a real database. We don't have to type all these things manually. We are going to create some entry box, entry box where we can add our data. We enter it goes into the database. Then we retrieve it from the database back into the into the trivia content. Yeah. So in the future we are going to do that here as well. We don't have to type all these things here we just have to use the database straightforward so this is it for today's video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video